The father of a St. Louis police officer shot in the line of duty calls his son's survival nothing short of a miracle. Colin Ledbetter was one of two officers shot last Wednesday. The I-team's Christine Byers gets the latest on his condition from his dad. Steve Ledbetter isn't able to go on camera because he is spending every possible moment at his son's bedside. But he wants the community to know he has heard their prayers and so has his son, Officer Colin Ledbetter. On Wednesday afternoon, Officer Ledbetter and another officer were shot following a pursuit with a homicide suspect. A tearful Chief John Hayden briefed reporters outside Barnes Jewish Hospital just hours later. I'm asking for the public to pray uh, for our officer. But this is, a rough, this is a rough time. Colin Ledbetter's father tells me his son was shot in the foot and the groin. One of the bullets struck his femoral artery. It's an injury that can be fatal. Doctors removed him from a ventilator Sunday morning. The 25-year-old then told them his name, asked for some water, and asked if he could get out of bed. The three-and-a-half-year veteran of the force is no longer considered critical, but remains heavily sedated. His father said it's too early to tell what his son's final prognosis will be. He says we are still praying for continued miracles. Colin Ledbetter's injuries were so severe, the St. Louis Police Officers Association opened its doors to let officers gather for support. Usually when the halls open, things aren't that great. Is everybody stunned at this point? I think so. I mean, it's just when you have an injury as severe as uh, the one officer had, um, you know, you don't ever get the opportunity to see an officer like that again. It's usually we're going to a funeral and now he's making this miraculous recovery. The other officer who was shot in the leg was released from the hospital Sunday. Christine Byers, five on your side. A gas